because what this does is this helps remind us that we can't just be in this campaign mindset. To, to, both of these are almost two years old, or are two years old, and they are incredibly difficult to maintain. Right? Can everybody relate to that? I mean, just to come up with content and fresh content and keep people coming back and have a new perspective, very, very difficult to keep up energy levels, to do that, keep the content high quality, you know, keep people coming <coughs> and engaging. But the reason why I feel this is important, why I wouldn't give up on this, and, you know, which, which, and I hope that the agency would continue to do this, is because it's a constant reminder at an agency culture perspective that what we need to do is move into this space, which is moving away from campaigns into something that's more sustainable over time. And we need to be doing that ourselves. So that was a personal one that, that I've gotten from, uh, from doing some of these things. So um, I feel like we're kind of, what's going on is we're in this sort of human renaissance, for, for good and bad. And you know, I don't want to paint this rosy picture because I think, you know, when you think of humanity, and a great reminder of the social web is looking at some of the comments on, on YouTube videos, which can be horrendous, you know, racial, sexist, um, you know, you name it. I mean, the worst of the worst. But that's what humanity is, right? It's, it's, it's people at our best, like that situation with uh, with that family where we got lots of help and it's also people at their worst where they're saying horrendous things towards each other and so i like to think of it you know we kind of before technology we started out as people and tribes and etc we had things like the industrial revolutions and machines helped us and then that kind of turned into computer systems and computers turned into more um, software dependency um, you know the web came and that changed everything we have sort of this this social revolution people now talk about uh, data being on clouds and, and, and not being on hard drives and that's you know that being the next best thing or next big thing. But at the end of the day, we, I feel like we're sort of coming full circle and all these things really kind of show our human side quite a bit more for good and for bad. Uh, so I'm going to end up with this last story, which I think um, uh, kind of sums it up for me and this idea of micro-interactions. Uh, does the name Randy Pausch ring a bell, uh, the last lecture? Uh, Randy Pausch is a... Um, he was a scientist that had done some work from Disney and uh, was a professor at the Carnegie Mellon. He died of pancreas, uh, pancreatic cancer, actually, uh, in the past few months. And um, there's a story in this book that he wrote called The Last Lecture. It's a great book. And he talks about his experience with Disney. Um, and when he was, uh, when he was a kid, uh, he had uh, taken a trip to Disney. And um, you know, he was so excited. He wanted to, to really get back something back to his parents. So he went to a store, and he bought a salt and pepper shaker. And on his way back, he dropped the salt and pepper shaker and they broke. And so there was a stranger who had seen what happened and they said, well, you know, go take it back to the store. And he thought, they're not going to do anything. I dropped it. It was my fault. And, and they said, well, I'll give it a try. So he, go, he goes back and he goes back to the store and uh, you know, puts it down and they take a look at it. And the, uh, the representative at the store said, you know, well, clear, clearly, sir, this is our fault. We did not wrap this properly. So you know, please here, take this, this other one. And he was just blown away by that experience. And he calls us the hundred thousand salt and pepper shaker, the hundred thousand dollar salt and pepper shaker, because that one moment for him, that one tiny micro interaction for him, really defined what the Disney experience was, and why he why he wanted to come back time and time again. He was just so uh, blown away by that by that experience that he had, um, that he you know basically when he added up all the trips that he had taken with his family, he attributes it to that one experience, that one interaction. And this is one uh, quote from the book. He, he says, until you've got ice cream spilled on you, you're not doing field work. And this actually addresses the question that you brought up. And he talks about, you know, this is a guy who's an academic, but he would get out and he considered, he had worked with Disney for a little while, and he talked about how his experience at Disney was doing field work. And so you'd be out in the park and you'd get ice cream spilled on you. And he talked about the importance of field work. And so this is kind of, what I want to end it off with, you know, sort of learning by doing. If you're not doing field work, you're not learning. If you're not getting ice cream spilt on you, you're not growing. And so that's where we have to go as brands and individuals, and that's where we need to lead our clients and partner with them. And that's it. Partner and Brooks account director of Crispy Potter and Bodies. Use time, like 10 minutes. Use, use 